Hello children. Today we are going to read a book Room on the Broom. It's all about the magic hat, magic stick, a wand, and a magic bow and magic broom. And very importantly, <laughs> the witch. Yes, you can see how she is sitting and flying away in the high in the sky on the magic broom. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair. which she wore in a plait how the cat purred and how the witch grinned and they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind but how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat down cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the hat but no hat could be found then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws he dropped it politely then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down her head i am a dog as keen as can be is there a room on the broom for a dog like me yes cried the witch and the dog climbed on the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh where we gone over the fields and the forest they flew the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew the witch laughed aloud <laughs> and held on to her hat but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait down cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the bow but no bow could be found then out from a tree with an carpling shriek then out from a tree with an card splitting shriek there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak she dropped it politely and bent her head low then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow i am a bird as green as can be is there a room on the broom for a bird like me yes cried the witch so the bird fluttered on the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh they were gone over the reeds and the rivers they flew the birds shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew they shot through the sky to the back of beyond the witch clutched her bow but let go for her wand down cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the wand but no wand could be found then all of a sudden from out of a pond leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand he dropped it politely then said with a crack as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak I am a frog as clean as can be is there room on the broom for a frog like me yes said the witch so the frog bounded on the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh they were gone over the moons and the mountain they flew the frog jumped for joy and ah uh, pop pop the broom snapped in two down fell the cat and the dog and the frog down they went tumbling into a bog the witch half bounded broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was a scary and loud what's that that's a dragon red dragon i am a dragon as mean as can be and i'm planning to have fish and chips for my tea no cried the witch flying higher and higher the dragon flew after her breathing out for fire help cried the witch flying down to the ground she looked all around but no help could be found the dragon drew nearer and licked the lips said 
maybe this once i will have which without chips but just as he planned to begin on his feast from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast it was a tall dark and sticky and feathered and furred it had four frightful heads it had wings like a bird and its terrible ones when it started to speak was a yawl and growl and a croak and a shriek it dripped and squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to all the dragon buzz off that's my watch the dragon drew back and he started to shake i'm sorry he spluttered i made a mistake it's nice to have met you but now i must fly and he spread out his wings and was off through the sky then down flew the bird and the down jumped the frog down climbed the cat and phew said the dog and thank you oh thank you the grateful witch cried without you i would be in that dragon's inside then she filled up her cauldron and said with the queen find something everyone throw something in so the frog found a lily and the cat found a corn the bird found a twig and the dog found a burn they threw them all in and the witch screwed them well and while she was tearing she muttered a spell lagati zigati zagati zoom then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog yes cried the witch and they all climbed on on the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh they were gone subscribe and like for more stories like this thank you augustus and his smile yes my dear children today we are going to read a book augustus and his smile by catherine rayner augustus the tiger was sad he had lost his smile so he had a huge tiger stretch and set off to find it first he kept under a cluster of bushes he found a small tiny beetle but he couldn't see his smile then he climbed to the tops of the tallest trees he found birds that chipped and called but he couldn't find his smile further and further augustus searched he scaled the crests of the highest mountains where the snow clouds swirled making frost patterns in the freezing air then he swam to the bottom to the deepest oceans and splashed and splashed with the shoals of tiny shiny fishes ah look at the colorful beautiful fishes and then he pranced and paraded through the largest desert making shadow shapes in the sun augustus padded further and further through shifting sands until pitter patter pitter patter dip drop drop yeah started drizzling augustus danced and raced and raindrops bounced and fears he spread through paddles bigger and deeper he raced towards a huge silver blue paddle and so then under his nose his smile 
and Augustus realized that his smile would be there whenever he was happy. He only had to swim with the fish or dance in the puddles or climb in the mountains and look at the world where happiness was everywhere around him. Augustus was so pleased that he hopped and skipped and jumped away smiling. So be happy children. Thank you. Subscribe and like it.